2018. Long time, no see. I feel like I haven't been on YouTube forever, since Crufts. And I feel like now, I love to talk, you know me guys, but Instagram is like one of those places where I only get 60 seconds. And I feel like I can't jam anything, everything in. So I thought I'd do YouTube, do my could get ready, have a chat with you guys, give you a bit of a life update, go from there. Oh, I've just put some SPF on. This is the skin of me for face and neck. Um, it's the SPF 50. I'm going to have a discount code for you on this, guys. You know me, I like to try things before I actually put them on to you to make sure that I do like them and make sure that they work. So I have used this, like, quite a lot. And it's really good. It doesn't bring me out in spots with, like, a lot of sun cream. And you guys will see I've got, like, sun damage up here. So I'm just trying to be a bit better to my skin. I have spoken about the sun damage, but... Bon, my darling, what is... <laughs> Yes, my love. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Thank you, my love. Thank you. Good girl. Thank you. Bonnie always barks at the door. But I don't tell her off for it. Good girl. Thank you. Because I like to nerf people at the door. <laughs> no, see. Then in with the Wellader. Again, I use this all the time. I think everyone is obsessed with it now, which is so great. So I thought I'd like try and do a whole life thing i know i said on instagram the other week i was like 23 is my unlucky number and isn't it just that like, i remember when i was 23 my whole life fell apart and i was like oh my god and that's crazy to think it was like four years ago i remember i was with my ex-boyfriend we broke up i i did really like my ex-boyfriend but it turned out really bad just he was amazing most of the time but sometimes it would just be awful. That was nasty. I ended up moving back to my parents, having to sort the house out, all of that crap. And now 2023 hasn't really been my year either. But now we're in June, I'm like, the second half of it is going to be so much better, right? Because it can't get any worse. It's kind of what I'm thinking. So you guys knew that obviously the beginning of the year was just awful moved back to devon which is the best decision i ever made even though i feel like it's so hard because devon is obviously like two hours 10 from london isn't it like it's not it's not actually that far on the train obviously we struggled to get the train but now i can do it yeah but unless i like want to go to london like obviously there's events on and stuff and yeah, I probably should go to more, but I always told you guys it wasn't really me. And I am still sticking with that. Like, I'm not going to start changing just because people are telling me I should be out more. I should be seeing more people. I should be doing that. Like, people have so much judgment on my life. I am happy at home with Bonnie. That is where I'm happy. So why am I going to put myself out in situations to make other people think that or do things that they think I should be doing? Does that make sense? Like, I just feel like, no, I'm not going to do that. That's not me. It's not what I enjoy. I enjoy the lifestyle down here. I enjoy the fact that I rub my face a lot. Um, it is a complete, but it is obviously very detached from the rest of the UK. Then I'm going in with the NYX um pore filler um it comes out so funny i think it's like four quid i might be a lion i might be eight to double the price there but it comes out like this ah i lost it damn it five second roll but this makes me so hungry so it's just the greatest thing why would i do it i don't i don't get it what so other people think that i'm doing what i should be doing no i'm not gonna be the subject of peer pressure because that's what it is on like a multiple scale. People think that you should be living your life in a different way. Gets to you, that gets to you. And to be fair, although I hated being where we were, it wasn't my choice to leave the house. Obviously I had Bonnie who was five months old. And if you guys rent, trying to rent somewhere with a dog is, is hard. But it's made even harder when they're five months old and a puppy. So when it all happened, and obviously I just got a new car, which 
wasn't meant to just be my car, it was meant to be like our five year plan. So I got the bigger car, which I don't need a bigger car. I don't need a bigger car. Um, but the plan I think was, please I will get told if I'm wrong, was to keep the bigger car, keep Teddy's smaller car, and then we'd have the smaller car to like run around in to London and stuff, and then the bigger car would be like our five year plan car. You know what I mean? So that car needed to be kept in a garage overnight. So trying to find that, and I had a month to do it, was real tough. Real tough. I'm just using the Huda Beauty and concealer. So notice got put on into the house. Hmm. And I was stressing. And I was on my own at this point in the house. So I didn't, and I didn't have my car then. I was carless, so I couldn't even like just come down to Devon. I actually emailed the land, the letting agent and was like, is there any way I can stay? Not because I wanted to stay for good, but because I wanted to be able to find somewhere with a bit more of a longer time frame um, and then be able to do the move, give my month's notice in and then be able to do the move. But the letting agent came back and said, basically, if I wanted to stay, the landlord wanted me to sign another 12 month agreement. I look crazy. And obviously I wasn't gonna do that because I was so miserable there. No, I had literally no one around me. I decided that, no, that wasn't, that wasn't what I was gonna do. Um, I couldn't move back to my parents because they have all of their dogs. Obviously we're crazy dog people. And I couldn't even with my sister because she had Baloo, I had all my stuff. I did actually look at getting a storage unit. I actually paid for the first month to do that. But luckily, obviously with the job I had before, I got hold of one of my old landlords and was like, Craig, I need a house, I need to live in a house now. We've got a house and I don't know what to do. Literally like that. And I was gonna, he had quite a few properties. Have you got any houses? Well, my words. He was like, I've got one and I was actually gonna go into one of his smaller houses. Cause I don't need the size of house that I've got at the moment. Don't need it at all. But, and you'll learn as you get older, like I think I learned this like maybe last year. Materialistic things mean, fuck you, literally nothing. I went to go into one of his smaller houses and my car wouldn't fit in the garage. So they were like, not today, Satan. You are not moving into a different house today. I need my mask and tape. I don't use any kind of fancy eye tape because I don't. And I can't do a winged eyeliner. I'm only 28 years old. Can't do a winged eyeliner. So what? What are you gonna say now? Nothing, nothing you can say. He had a, another one, a bigger one, and was like, look, you can move into this, but I am wanting to sell it. And I was like, absolutely fine like obviously not ideal but it's always a risk that you take with renting anyway so at least he was honest with me i knew he wanted to sell it so i said look i'll move into it i'll take it tomorrow so you're not losing out on money and then obviously i'll be really accommodating when you need to do the viewings and stuff and also i didn't know if i was going to be able to make it work from down in devon as much as i was like well i'm not going to make it work from london because i'm so miserable there on my own but if it now doesn't work out, and I will probably just go back to, and I will probably just go back to a state agency because oh, I can't even tell you how miserable I was not being around my friends and family. It's okay if you're like that type of person, but you guys know, don't go, I don't enjoy like going out and meet, I, I got my friends and I like my friends and my family. I don't want anyone else. He was like, fine, yeah, no worries. And then I've been on holiday with the girls, as you saw. And then obviously I was quite open with you guys on my Instagram about what I found, which was, again, so annoying. Went away with the girls. Haven't been away with them, obviously, since Love Island. We had the best, best time. And it was like on the first day, first full day that I was putting sun cream on. And I was like, Oh, so I found my lamp and it's just here. Got my finger on it now. I was like, girls, I just want a lamp in my room. They're like, don't worry about it. We'll just like, obviously get it seen when you get back. I'm there stressing. Like, I've got a daughter now. I've got Bonnie. I can't deal with this. 
And so on my in my head, like I was just thinking, oh god, I just need to get back. I need to get this scene. I can't fully react, fully, fully relax until I know that it's nothing. Which I, in my head, I like. I was like, I know it's nothing, but it's still not ideal. And at that point, I was like, oh, I'm not gonna tell you guys because I felt there's no point telling you something that I don't know and I'm not getting the answers to like the next week like there's no point in that but at the same time I didn't want to not tell you anything because if I which I know I have done the amount of people that have messaged me and said that they've now checked their breasts or they're going to the doctors or whatever just because of my post is all I really could have wished for so that happened I came back a day early from the girls then I came back was with Bonnie, it was my sister's birthday coming up, kind of had like a week, and then on my sister's birthday, again, the 23rd of May, I rang the doctors, we were going, me and my mum were on the way down to get my my sister some cream tea, Angel's Tea Rooms in Babacom, if you know, you know. We were going down to get some cream teas because we were going to go out for a picnic, so I rang them then and collected my sister's kick, got put on the triage list for a callback, they called me back and was like going through these questionnaires and stuff I was like cool and then they said can you come in tomorrow and I was like oh, that's quick I'm like, oh my goodness um, which is obviously great or oh, itchy armpit I went in the next day the woman was absolutely lovely felt it and was like look I'm gonna put you on a two-week referral to Torbay Hospital because obviously we'll get seen quicker so at this point I'm thinking, well, you obviously think it's something, but you're not telling me. Obviously my brain is going into overload, you know me, guys. And she was like, I'm going to, yeah, put you basically down there ASAP. I then wait a couple of days, get a letter in the post. Then my appointment is on the two weeks from the Tuesday. I'm just constantly thinking about it like it's just long. Go down for the appointment. And they had said allow, and that's why I told you guys, because I was like, oh, I'm going to get an answer today anyway. So I feel like I can try and raise a bit of awareness, check your boobies, and I can give you an answer same day. So my sister came down with me, went to the hospital, said they were going to do a mammogram, an ultrascan or ultrasound, and a physical assessment. So I get down there. <coughs> Pardon me. I get down there and they fit, do a physical assessment and then go, can you come back on Thursday for your scans? And I was like, oh, okay, are we not doing any scans today? They were like, oh no, um, because you're under the age of 40, we won't do a mammogram because your breast tissue is too dense. So you'll only get a mammogram if you're over the age of 40. I was like, right, okay. What about the ultrasound? They said, oh no, we haven't got a radiology. Oh, we haven't got enough radiology on today. I said, okay, fine. So I went back down. Well, I left. And I was like, so annoying. And, and in my head, I was thinking, they just don't want to tell me. They want someone else in the room. Like, that is bad news, <laughs> obviously. Went down on the Thursday and had the ultrascan. And basically, it's here in my side. It's only three millimeters big. So it's only like this big. And he was like, look, we'd only really be concerned about it if it was over 10 centimetres, 10 millimetres, centimetres, millimetres, 10 millimetres big. And I was like, oh my God, great. So then that was all good news. But I know not everyone is as lucky as me and it is such a big thing to make sure, well, I've obviously got to keep an eye on it and all the rest of it, but you just need to make sure you're checking. And I was one of these people, I never checked. I was, I'm terrible. Like, I never used to check. Like, ignorance is bliss, right? That was that. Then I get a call from the estate agent to say that my house is going back on the market for sale. Which I don't mind because I feel like everything happens for a reason. Um, it's given me time to see if I can make it work down here, which I think I can. Obviously it's a lot harder. And um, yeah, I would have loved to have had a sibling living near me that I could have just gone and lived with and not worry about rent and stuff. But I have, pri I have a priority, which is obviously Bonnie. And the amount of crap that I'm getting at the moment of not leaving Bonnie, not going out and living my life, all the rest of it, 
I live my life, okay? It might not be how everyone else wants to live their life, but I, it's what I enjoy. Why can't people understand that? That's what I really struggle with. Why can't you just let me live my life the way I want to live it? I don't tell anyone else how to live their life. I've got all my friends around me. I've got my mum and dad down the road. Why can't I just live my life the way I want to do it? Okay, I might not go out every weekend. That's because I don't enjoy it. I don't enjoy it. I don't enjoy being hungover on a Sunday. I like to go out for dog walks and see Bonnie and go to the pub and... But I've always been the same and I've never lied to you guys about that. And the amount of people are like, oh, it's bo you're boring. Maybe I am. Maybe I am. But I don't care what you think. <laughs> I, I don't care. Look how good my little wing is, see? Masking tape all the way. The airbrush and the Flaw Flawless Foundation by Charlotte Tilbury in number six, neutral. But now I've got to consider, I have to consider finding another house, which again is fine and it's a risk that you run isn't it with renting at the end of the day like the amount of landlords that i used to have that would be like oh yeah we're looking to sell it we're you know we're gonna sell it in a couple of months we just want a tenant in there and yeah like some a lot of the time they were happy to be honest about it but also sometimes landlords weren't honest with us because they wouldn't want us to be honest with the tenant. So we wouldn't know sometimes, and then the tenant would move in, thinking that they were gonna be there for a couple of years. And then the landlord would be like, oh, we're putting on, we wanna put it on the market. And we'd be like, well, why couldn't you tell us that before? That they just wouldn't. Ah, I mean, it's been really crazy. Yeah. And then obviously, new Love Island starts, and people always get so worried about it, and they're like, oh, you need to like, be out more and stuff. Like, what is this? What What is this whole thing of I need to go out more? I need to be seen at places? No. I go to the events that I want to go to to celebrate good people and people I know. It wasn't long ago I was in, I was watching Beyonce. Like, literally, it was like 10 days ago I was watching Beyonce. Well, so because I'm not in London every week, what, so people that aren't from London don't get a look in in this world? Is that what we're saying? I mean, like, London is beautiful. Which is something, again, I can appreciate more now that I don't live near there. Because before, I just felt really claustrophobic. Got amazing foods and restaurants. Um, sorry, itchy nose. <laughs> Nightlife. Yes, of course, you've got all of that. But it's not stuff I enjoy. And that was me before the villa. And I think from being in the villa, coming out now, I don't think I've really, I've grown as a person. Oh my God, I've grown. But I don't think I've changed. Like, I haven't had this new awakening of, okay, well, now I like to do... I, I don't. I like to walk with my dog and be with my dog. I'm such a homebody. I just put the Huda Beauty back on. Ah, my brush. And then this is Doll Beauty. It's the cream bronzer. And I'm obsessed. Like, you can see, I'm obsessed. I have got another one, but I just haven't opened it yet. And it's like, you need to get out and date again. I'm not being funny, but I'm not going to tell you guys if I first start dating somebody because what if I don't like them in a month like what if we don't what if we don't work out what if we hate each other what if we don't work like I'm not gonna take you on like first dates with me do you know what I mean like I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna tell you like later on but also I need to try and work this out but it's just not my main priority right now to be dating. It's just not, and that's okay. Yeah, I could go on shows and do dating shows and all the rest of it, but you don't know a real person from dating shows. You don't. Not everyone is, is honest, so people are aware there's cameras. This is like life update really, isn't it? Then obviously Bonnie came into season, which literally the hardest thing the amount again the amount of judgment i've got from for not having bonnie spayed is ridiculous because there is there is a there is an increased chance of her getting one type of cancer but if you have her spayed there's an, an increased chance of her getting another type of cancer i will always do i think there's one thing that we can all agree on i will always 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 put bonnie before me before anything 
before life. And she doesn't stop me doing anything. She doesn't stop me going on holidays or anything like that. But again, I only ever went on my first holiday when abroad when I was 18. My dad can't go in an aeroplane, so we always used to just go down to Cornwall as a family. Don't feel like I ever missed out. I've been abroad since. All of my friends work full time. They've got partners. Why do I need, like, why do I feel, the, I, I don't feel the need to jet around all the time and be in different, like, of course, I'd love to see the world more. But I want to do that with someone. I don't want to do that on my own, like, but people see that as such a bad thing. It's not. You've got to be really bloody strong in this world, don't you, really? Mm -hmm. Just got to make sure you're ignoring the outside noise. And it's so hard not to, so hard not to, because I always feel like I'm letting you guys down, like, you know, people care about way more than they should. About, like, their engagement and their following, and we are setting young kids up to basically feel like if they're not seen, they're a failure. Like, even, like, this year's Love Island, for example, the amount I've seen in the press, it's like, viewing numbers are down, we're... why do we care? Why, why, why do we care? If I get 4,000 likes on a photo, if I get 500 likes on a photo, I'm just using the blush stick. I'm not going to hide it from you guys, unless a brand... Specifically asks me to hide my like count. I'm not doing that. You must be mad. But also, like, it's hard because, you know, people think, oh, you're, yeah, you're like cow. Yeah, but Instagram and the algorithm, like, I've obviously got 1.2 million followers. I'm grateful for every single one of them. If that was to drop to 1.1, okay. Like, if people aren't interested in what I'm doing anymore because I'm boring, fine. Like, cool. But what can I say? Like, I've got 1.2 million followers. If I post a picture, obviously I can see how many people, how many accounts it gets pushed to. I am lucky if it gets pushed to more than 100,000 people. So if only 100,000 people are seeing my stuff, how are they meant, how am I meant to get my engagement? Do you know what I mean? And then they say about engagement, like when you're in a bad place and you've got a lot going on, my phone's just gone off, but I don't know where it is. Found you. Like, you don't want to post. The last thing I want to do is go out hot and take pictures of myself. And also, I only really want to take, like, genuine photos of myself. I feel like I can always tell, like, if somebody's, like, gone out just to take a photo. But again, that's, like, that's an influencer. I love influencers. Like, I love seeing their content and stuff. But they're good at it. <laughs> I'm not so good. I don't, most of the time, I'm at home with Bon, I am doing content and stuff, and also like brands and things, like, I only work with, and I think that's one thing like I'm really grateful for, and I think you guys know that as well. I will only work with brands that align with me. Obviously, I would always love to get back into doing more property stuff, but it's so hard to do property stuff because no one else has done it. Are you guys interested in it? And also, from being an estate agent, obviously I love to do in the house tours and stuff. But that was costing me like, you know, I'm pretty honest with you guys. That would cost me like a thousand pounds a day to get those videos for you. I don't get anything back for that. You've got to ask an estate agent to take time out of their day to show you the property. Because nine times out of ten, they obviously won't give you the keys. Just yourself to go and film. Me to go and do these videos yeah hopefully something comes of it but if nothing comes of it like they're probably thinking like what a waste of time do you know what i mean so then i was thinking i'm just gonna open my own estate agents and go back to doing that but i actually don't have the, t the time and the estate agents down here there's so many of them so it'd be more of like my passion project to do. Do you know what I mean? So I was, I'm in like a bit of a, not a weird place, but obviously just so much has happened this year that's just made me question what I want to do and where I want to be. I just want to do, do I've always said I just want to do dogs and houses. Yes, I'd love to be able to do, I'm going to actually try today and go and do my, a charity shop haul, but I struggle 
with doing the charity shop hauls and going into shops on my own. And obviously like today, everyone's working. All my friends are working. Saturdays, I do not go anywhere near town because it's way too busy for Faye. So then what? Do you know what I mean? I would love, I would have loved for everything to have worked out like hunky-dory, but things just don't. But you just need to see the positives in it. And like I say, I, all, I truly believe everything happens for a reason. I don't know what the reason is right now. It will come to me though, I'm sure. So that's it, look. I've done my hair, I've done my makeup. I feel like that was a... Hello, my love. Can you ring in? She nicks my phone. What have you got? Okay. Um, I really like this chat. You guys might have said it was rubbish, but I felt like I couldn't really start doing YouTube again. Hi, who are you ringing? Who are you getting hold of? Um, without kind of breaking this year down. So we've got to think about moving again. Which is fine, I know it's all going to be fine. I'm actually going to look to buy um, my new home. Um, now that I know that I want to be down here and stay down here. So, yeah, we'll catch up. I'm going to go and do some charity shop shopping. <sighs> which I'm really scared about. But I'm going to go and try and do that now. I'm going to take Bonnie out for a walk and enjoy the sunshine. So I hope you guys do too. Mwah. I guess this whole thing is about just being you. Just be you. I feel like there's such a peer pressure. Just do what's right for you. And I hope that that's one thing people could take away from this. Anyway, I'm I'm yabbering on. Right. Say bye bye. Say bye bye, everybody. Say bye. Bye, guys. Bye.